We begin by illustrating the two intervals on a number line, as shown here. Next, we create a new interval that represents the difference between these two intervals. To do so, we identify the real numbers present in the first interval that are not present in the second interval. We can see that the infinitely many real numbers greater than 1 are present in the first interval and not in the second, and so we create a new interval with these numbers included, as shown here. The number 1 is also present in the first interval and not in the second, and so we also include this number in the new interval. As you can see, the difference interval is an interval of real numbers greater than 1 with 1 included. In interval notation, this interval can be represented as follows. Hence, the answer to this question is option D.